In Health Matters tonight, Health Canada is warning the shortage of EpiPens is going to get worse before it gets better. The pins administer an emergency treatment of adrenaline to patients at risk of life-threatening allergic reactions. Pfizer, the company that makes the injectors, already has a shortage of the 0.3 milligram injectors and now says it's running short on EpiPen Junior 0.15 milligram injectors too. It blames delays at its manufacturing facility. Check with your doctor or your pharmacy to confirm availability. Sometimes a familiar smell can be all the comfort you need. That's the idea behind tender loving care cloths at an Alberta children's hospital. Staff have been sewing them for babies recovering in the intensive care unit and their parents. But when they ran out of material, a post on social media was all the help they needed. When Nicole McLeod has to leave baby Oliver for a while, her heart stays with him. The claws really provide this opportunity for you to leave a piece of yourself um, with your baby. The Stollery neonatal ICU's tender loving care cloths smell like mom or dad. And so the idea is that one of the parents wear the cloth on their body or sleep with it on their pillow at night so that they're giving their scent to their baby. Research shows that scent can not only increase baby's parental bonding, it can improve their development, even help manage pain. So if they have to go through a procedure, just smelling their parent can soothe them. Plus, smelling her child's cloth can stimulate a mother's milk production. Other benefits of this initiative go beyond the hospital. When I brought the project up, they, they were like, aww. Stellary staff had been sewing the cloths themselves, but had run out of material. When they posted a request on social media, this junior high fashion class volunteered their services. Instead of making like a stuffed animal or something for ourselves, we could make a heart. And just helping out like babies is just a really good cause. This simple project teaches students about top stitching, curved seams, and more important things. They've learned a lot in terms of compassion and empathy. Lessons this mom appreciates. She says it's been nice to be able to choose something cute for Oliver in this not-so-cute environment. He was born 10 weeks early and hasn't been able to go home yet. Everyone wants to be able to do the best that they can for their baby and it's something that you can do. So yeah, I think it's a great program.